Welcome to Leash Just Today. So today I have this glass ornament. Um, I'm going to be working on, let me turn this back on, trying to see if I can engrave it with my X-Tool S1. And I just wanted to show you guys my process because this is my first time. And just so you guys can see um, how I'm able to get these to engrave. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned. So the first thing I did was I got my X-Tool um, RA2 Pro Rotary and I put on these um, accessories here and I put this one on this side. I'm going to do a test with some settings that are already in X-Tool to see how that works and then I'll do a materials test array to see what's best. So let's go. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here to X-Tool Creative Space and I'm going to go to... The processing mode and I'm going to change it to the chuck because that's what I'll be using and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this text line here and I'm just going to type in let's see if I can get this to move here I'm just going to put Mary Chris. So I'm just going to type in Merry Christmas. I want this to engrave. And I might change the font. So let's see if we go up here to the font area and I can change the font. I'll do this one. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here, here to user defined material and I'm going to change it to, let's see if we have the option, more Excel materials. So this is showing acrylic. I'm trying to see if there's any glass. Mirror, basswoods. plywood, craft, aluminum, silver, mm, rectangle letter, frame. I'm going to put glass up here and see. Black coated glass. I'm going to do tempered glass maybe. No results found. Okay, so it looks like we're just going to have to go ahead and do a test array on here. So I'm going to X out of this. And I'm going to put this to ignore or unselect the output. And then I'm going to go over here to shapes. And I'm going to get a heart. And I want to make sure it's set to engrave. And I'm going to go over here to the applications. And I'm doing a, going to do a materials test array. And it shows how many columns and how many rows. So I'm going to push done for that. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to I put this... Uh, the laser over the bulb and then I'm going to try to make a square on there so that we can put this on there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right over top. Try to center it as best as possible. Okay. Here I'm going to get the distance. So this is measuring the distance from the top of the bulb to the laser. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is, since this is supposed to be the center right here, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna twist this like so. And then I'm going to make it smaller so that it will fit on that bulb. And then what I think I might do here is I might try to, I'm going to use the chuck first to see how it would engrave. 
and then I'll try the curvature one if you guys want to see that to see if that does it even better so I'm gonna line it up there and then I'm just gonna do framing so that I can see where it's gonna to try to put this so I might have to make it smaller so now I'm gonna do framing again so it's telling me that it wants me to get the diameter so let me do that real quick so I have this little measurement here and so it looks like it's about eight inches. So I like that better, so then we're just going to go with this one, okay? So framing complete, I'm going to push go to process, and I'm going to hit start processing. I'm going to turn this down, a higher speed, let's see my head set in place, pause and ensure the base bar is down without any wood. So it says it's going to take five, about five, six minutes. So I close my lid and then I'm going to push the start button here and see what happens. So it's very tiny here, so it's probably going to take a minute. So I'll just leave it here to take its time to do it. I'm going to check in um, with you guys so you guys can see some progress here. And then at the end, I'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll try it on the curve. Rate. I think it's the curve setting. We'll do that one next. So you guys can see it. It looks like it's doing good so far. I still will do it on the curvature just in case that might take into effect um, the actual engraving as well. But so far it's doing good. All right, so it's finished. It's very squished because it's on this curve. So it doesn't look all the greatest. So let's see. I need to get some better lighting, it looks like. So let's go inside. Okay, so yes, it's very squished. You can barely see everything on here, but it did engrave it. It looks like the higher settings are not good, but at the same time, it was more so down on the curve. So I don't know if that could have been it as well. Okay, so we're going to come back here and... I'm just going to look at the settings here because they're so small on my ball um, to get the right settings. So I think I'm going to go with, let's see, 55 here and then let's see, I'm going to do 55 and I'm going to do about 350. See how that one works. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm gonna move this up here and then I'm gonna change the settings. So I said 55 for the power and a speed of 350. All right, and then I am going to turn this 90 degrees. So I'm just gonna go up here, change it to 90. That way it's sideways. And then what I need to do now is I need to get the perimeter which I said was, I think I said it was nine, or was it eight? I think it was eight. So let me do it one more time. So it's about eight, so I put eight for the perimeter. Okay. So then what I'm going to do now is I am going to try to center this. And then I'm going to hit framing just to see. This is kind of big. So let's see. This is 5 inches height. Let's see. If it's 8, I'm going to make it 3 and let it auto adjust. Okay. And then I'm going to make this go here again. Center it. Okay. So then I'm going to do framing here. So I'm going to get the distance measurement. I put this right on top, but centered as best I can. And then I'm going to hit this distance. Okay, so that one is distance. I'm going to 
change this back to output. I have all the settings here and I'm going to hit this framing. So when I hit the framing in X tool, create a space and I have to hit this button that turns blue here. Okay. So now I'm just going to push start, close your lip first. So I'm going to go to process says it's going to take three, just under four minutes. So I'm going to hit start here. So far, it's looking good. I don't know if you guys can see it all that well. Okay, so it's done. And it looks like those settings worked really well. Okay, take it off of here. Oh yeah, those settings worked really good. Okay. So thanks for watching. Oh, I just wanted to say too, I tried to do that curve setting and it broke. So it was telling me to measure like on one side on the other when it tried to measure one side, it broke. So you guys can see like all the broken pieces in there. So anyways, that's why I didn't do the curve setting in this video. Um, but I'll try it for another one that I'm gonna do shortly here. But anyways, this came out really amazing. So. This is a video just to show you guys how to get your settings specifically for your laser. Just do a materials test array to find the best settings for you. I hope you guys enjoy. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Take care. Stay blessed.